Here we go again. Manchester United's interest in Frankie de Jong has been long-standing, and with two of his former Ajax teammates arriving at Old Trafford, the news are back swirling. United have reportedly already seen a 42.7 millions of pounds bid for de Jong rejected by Barcelona, but National claim they remain keen. Well, that interest is not reciprocated, with the Dutch midfielder excited about playing under his new manager this season. Is he staying at Barca? Yes, I'm very happy in Barcelona with my family for sure, de Jong said. Hansi Flick wants me to be key. I talked to him. It was good. Ten Hag is a huge fan of de Jong, who played under his management at Ajax, but it seems as though he won't be able to get the entire band back together. Meanwhile, just now, Manuel Ugarte is insisting on getting his move to Manchester United, as both clubs are still in talks now. PSG are keen on selling him, with Jorge Mendes leading negotiations, according to Fabrizio Romano. Ugarte has already agreed personal terms with United, and Paris Saint-Germain are keen to sell him this summer. However, the Manchester United need fee reduced, or one more sale, or will go for cheaper option. On the other hand, Sky Sport Italia claims that Manchester United are leading Milan in the race to sign Yusuf Fofana, with the Red Devils ready to send Monaco an important offer. According to Sky Sport Italia's latest report, Milan are in danger of missing out on the signing of Monaco midfielder Fofana. Transfer pundit Luca Schilly said during the Tuesday afternoon show that the Premier League giants are ready to send a significant offer for the France international. Fofana was not even on the bench for Monaco's friendly against Barcelona in the Gamper Trophy on Monday night, and Sky confirmed that the midfielder would surely leave his club this summer. Talks with Manchester United are ongoing, and the Red Devils are ready to make an important offer in line with Monaco's requests, said Chile. Milan, right now, are way, way behind. Unless there are unexpected surprises, Milan will have to look for alternatives for the midfield. According to Sky Sport Italia, Monaco have not closed the door on Milan, but the Fofana's move to San Siro appears unlikely as Manchester United are expected to outbid the Rossoneri. Milan's latest offer for Fofana was close to 20 millions of euros, but according to Sky Sport, Monaco want at least 25 millions of euros. Additionally, Manchester United are keeping tabs on Everton star Dominic Calvert-Lewin. According to Sky Sport's Darmesh Sheth, Calvert-Lewin is one of a number of forwards discussed by United during the summer transfer window. As it stands, however, the number 9 position is not a priority, and the Red Devils are unlikely to reinforce in that area, unless there are sales first. The England international is into the final year of his contract with the Toffees. On the other hand, here there are Man United vs Fulham match preview. Manchester United's Premier League season kicks off on Friday when they take on Fulham at Old Trafford. United boss Eric Ten Hag will be without 52 millions of pounds, signing Lenny Yoro as he continues to recover from surgery, following an injury on his pre-season debut for the club. Rasmus Hoyland, who was injured in the same game, is expected to miss the first month of the campaign with his knock. New striker Joshua Xerxy is yet to get any minutes and would be a surprise starter if he was named in Ten Hag's lineup, with captain Bruno Fernandes likely to reprise his role as a false nine. Victor Lindelof didn't play any part against Manchester City in the Community Shield, but his injury is not believed to be serious. Meanwhile, Fulham fans will be hoping that new boy Emile Smith-Rowe is handed a start in their Premier League curtain raiser. The Cottagers boss Marco Silva currently has no injury issues heading into the Premier League curtain raiser. On the other side, Manchester United expected to sign a midfielder before the August 30 deadline, whatever happens with outgoings, but it may be at the low-cost end. United are targeting a number six to play alongside Kabi Mainu. Ten Hag would still like strength in depth there, and Sander Burge is one of the players on the list, with club officials in touch. Meanwhile, Manchester United have drawn up a third, improved bid for Everton star Jared Branthwaite, with a report revealing the exact money involved, while Eric Ten Hag has made a decision on the futures of two exciting young players. Man United chief Sir Jim Ratcliffe is a huge fan of Branthwaite, viewing him as one of the best English talents in the Premier League. Ratcliffe has resultantly spearheaded Man United's pursuit of the centre-back this summer. Everton are aware of Ratcliffe and Man Uteed's hopes of landing Branthwaite, 
and have responded by setting his price tag at the 70 millions of pounds mark. Man United, though, feel this huge sum is unreasonable and do not intend to match it. Instead, Man United started the bidding at just 35 millions of pounds plus add-ons, an offer which was immediately knocked back by Everton as they viewed it as derisory. Ratcliffe then returned with a second package, which included an initial 45 millions of pounds fee and a further 5 millions of pounds in bonuses, which was also rejected. Man United soon turned their attention to alternative centre-backs Lenny Yoro, Matthijs De Ligt, and Mazraoui, with all already joined Man United. According to Football Insider, Man United are ready to go back on the hunt for the England international and will launch an improved bid worth 60 millions of pounds. While that still does not meet Everton's asking price, Man United hope that it will convince the Toffees to cash in. After all, Branthwaite is understood to be keen on a switch to Old Trafford, and Sean Dyche will not want an unhappy player in his squad. Plus, uncertainty surrounding the takeover situation might force Everton to accept a lower sum for Branthwaite than they were previously holding out for, though this will only happen late on in the transfer window. Everton have drawn up a bumper new contract offer for the 22-year-old, but he is unlikely to agree fresh terms as he knows that a possible switch to Man United is a huge opportunity. Before Branthwaite could follow Yoro, De Ligt and Mazraoui to Man United, Ratcliffe would need to sell at least one of Victor Lindelof or Harry Maguire first. Meanwhile, Ten Hag has decided that rising stars Harry Amass and Toby Collier will be staying at Man United this summer, rather than being shipped out on loan. Ten Hag has been impressed by the performances of 17-year-old left-back Amass and 20-year-old defensive midfielder Collier in pre-season. The duo would likely receive plenty of loan interest, should they be put on the market. But football transfers report that Ten Hag wants to give them first-team experience at Manchester United this season. Collier made his senior debut during the Community Shield defeat to Manchester City, while Amass has yet to make his debut as he narrowly missed out on the squad for that clash. On the other side, last night Manchester United have announced the signings of Matthijs De Ligt and Mazraoui from Bayern Munich. De Ligt has penned a five-year deal through to the summer of 2029, with the option of a further year. He becomes Eric Ten Hag's third summer signing following the arrivals of Lenny Yoro and Joshua Xerxy. De Ligt previously played under Ten Hag for Ajax, where he was made captain aged just 17. Meanwhile, Mazraoui, who played under Eric Ten Hag at Ajax, has signed a four-year deal with the option of a further year. The signing brings United's summer incomings up to four, following the earlier deals involving Lenny Yoro and Joshua Xerxy. So, before announcement of Mazraoui and De Ligt, United confirms that Luke Shaw will miss the start of the new Premier League season, Manchester United have confirmed. The left back has been ruled out until September, with a calf injury sustained during pre-season. United are hopeful Shaw will be fit to return after the first international break next month. Shaw last played for the Red Devils in February, before a muscle injury ended his season. Moreover, Eric Ten Hag has insisted Manchester United will make announcements when we have news, amid links with Mario Hermoso. The Red Devils have emerged as a possible destination for the free agent defender. According to The Athletic, United held talks with Hermoso last week, but are not currently pursuing a move as they explore their options. It comes after Ten Hag told reporters before the Community Shield, when we have news, we will announce it. You see the market is quite quiet still, but we have done our business. We have done two deals. It is about timings, and it is about the market options, and ensuring, in the right moment, we do the right things. On the other hand, Manchester United and Chelsea are reportedly considering a shock loan move for Ivan Tony. According to The Independent, both clubs could test Brentford's resolve with offers of a loan with an obligation to buy. The Bees are still holding out for at least 60 millions of pounds for the 28-year-old striker. However, the England star is into the final year of his contract, and a loan swoop late in the window could force Brentford's hand. Additionally, Matthijs De Ligt felt excitement after learning Manchester United were interested in signing him. After completing his move from Bayern Munich, he explained, As soon as I heard that Man United wanted me, I felt an excitement about the opportunity for a new challenge at such an historic club. 
On reuniting with Eric Ten Hag, the Dutch defender added, Eric Ten Hag shaped the early stages of my career, so he knows how to get the best out of me. I know what it takes to succeed at the highest level. In other news, several Manchester United stars have sent messages of support to Aaron Juan Bissaka after his move to West Ham. The fullback completed a 15 millions of pounds switch to the London Stadium on Tuesday. Following the Hammers announcement, Juan Bissaka posted a goodbye message to Instagram with Marcus Rashford commenting, Good luck, my bro. Jaden Sancho added, My family, all the best brother. Meanwhile, Bruno Fernandes also wrote, We'll miss you, spider.